it is me, Professor Clonebrand. As you might have seen in a previous video, I have declared war. So here is the first of the new war machine. It's a tank. Yes. So this is a M5A1 Stuart. The box is too big for the camera. Okay, so you can see it is a tank. An American tank of World War II. This is by Kobe. The Polish brand that did those nice airplanes, yes. But this is a ground vehicle. It is very cool, yes. One figure is included. 345 parts, yes. World War II, blah, blah, blah. Not much to see on the box, really. Oh, there, there are some more info for the vehicle, if you wish to see that. Try to get rid of some of the glare. Oh, yes. It's a nice info card there for people to read. They can pause. I'm not going to read it because I would make my video really long. Oh, that's a nice picture. So, yes, let's get on to building this and see what the set is like. Okay, so that is the finished M5A1 Stuart tank. I think it looks quite nice, yes? It might be a little oversized for the uh, the tank that it is supposed to be, but it has nice detail, and I think the profiling is very good. This nice, uh, the, um... The bogies for the suspension and the guide wheels are nice. Yes, that's a nice detail. On the back. Oh, yes, also, the, before I move it, these are very nice printed parts. There were no stickers at all in this one. So it's a nice uh, stickers for the American vehicle markings. Around the back. There are tools, yes. There's a hatchet, a hammer, and a crowbar. There's also these big... Whoa, yeah, yeah. Stop bumping the camera! There's also these very nice parts with molded rivets on it. That looks very cool, I think. They need to do some more of those. More of the printed parts here. And then on the front, they have the little machine gun, yes. To, to get rid of pesky infantry. There's a couple of headlights. Then more printed parts. And then the turret up here with the main gun, and a spot for the figure to sit. The, let's see, there are some cool play features. So you can open up this hatch, which lets you see which lets you see inside to the engine. Lift that up. There's a nice, there's another printed part to look like an engine. That's a nice detail. The turret rotates as expected. It can go all the way around. They also have some nice molded parts for the, the crew hatches up here. You have a machine gun up here that infantry riding on top could use. You can take the figure out. He does not fit inside. There is no interior to this. The hatch closes. If you want that look for your model. The gun can elevate. And go down again. But yes, it's very nice. Also, the treads are very nice too. They roll very well. They are, they are not tight. They're just loose enough. And I think they actually roll better than the Lego ones. They don't look quite as nice. Stop bumping the camera! They don't look quite as nice as the Lego ones. They were kind of thin, and I was afraid they were going to break. But I do like them. So let's look at the figure real quick. Let me get him a stick. Yes. There he is. Hello, I'm a soldier. I drive the tank. Why is he speaking with an accent? You're an American! All oh, right. Hey y'all! No, just just stop! Don't don't talk. He came with the M1 carbine, a pineapple grenade, and the M1 steel pot helmet. Let us remove the weapons. Get a better look at the figure print. No print on the back. Focus, please. Come on. 
There you go. There you go. Yeah, so is this nice print for him? He's got a little pistol on his jacket. It's a simple print. There's no print on the back, but it looks good. There was also... Oh, just forget this stick. Your hand is showing every time. There's also some markings on this shoulder. So those are nice, yes. He is a sergeant. Come on, focus. Thank you. But yeah, that is a nice set. It will be good to attack the enemy. But yes, is a nice set, I think. Is a nice looking tank. The, the gun is kind of small, so it won't be super powerful in brick wars. But it is nice, yes. It will be good to fight against the enemy with it. The terrible enemy. <coughs> so yeah, that is that review. So, thanks for watching. Please support the clone brands. And I will see you in the next video.